Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Dar Nevergal, I'm Evan Skilleter, and we have for you the second of our doubleheader tonight in the Bath Tip-Off Classic between the host Bath Wild Kittens and the Versailles Lady Tigers. Dar, I don't know if you knew this, we haven't talked about it, but in terms of the state of Ohio, these are the third, or sorry, the fourth and the fifth most winningest programs in the entire state. Bath with 909 wins all time, Versailles with 881. Wow. So a, a matchup of classic programs here in the second of our doubleheader. Yeah, it certainly is. And you know, Versailles struggled a little bit last year. They were six and 16 last year, two and seven in the MAC. On the flip side, uh, Bath was six, or was 19 and six last year, and seven and two in the WBL. But you can throw all that away. This is two new squads, you know, start of the, of the new season for both of them, you know. And we were just talking about, you know, you look out there at Bath, Bath starting three six-footers in their lineup, and that's tough for any team, you know, particularly when you get into girls' basketball. You see those six-footers out there and stuff, and, you know, but Purcells has a couple, too. They've got a couple of a six one, a six-footer of their own. Bath wearing the white uniforms tonight. Those six-footers are Claire Faust and Oliver and Elena Oliver. They start with the Clark sisters, Faith and Rachel. Is that shot no good? For sales in the black uniforms tonight, they start with Jenna Dirksen, Lexi Magato, Grace Osborne, Cassie Leach, and Taylor Wagner. Six and 16 a year ago for the Lady Tigers. Two and seven in the MAC. Bath 19 and six, seven and two as they take that one away. And they get up the court. That one goes out of bounds. And it was last touched by Bath, but the referee didn't have a great angle at it. So he says Bath basketball. Ball sent into the backcourt, and the senior Rachel Clark will get things started for the Wild Kittens. Yeah, Rachel Clark, Clark five foot five senior out there, runs this offense for the Wild Kittens. Here's Rachel on the right wing, sends it up over the top to Elena Oliver. Oliver goes up, she can't finish. Good defense inside by the Lady Tigers as Jenna Dirksen grabs the rebound. Yeah, that's one thing is Bath's gonna have to do. They're gonna have to be able to finish off those shots on the inside, take advantage of that height that they've got in there. Oh, shot blocked, goes out or stays with the Lady Tigers underneath as Cassie Leach will throw it in from the baseline. Two, three, or three, two zone for the Wild Kittens. Is that shot off the glass? No good. Rebound pulled in by Claire Faust. Now they go back inside. This time it's Ann Oliver. Ann turns to her right. More good defense inside. But Elena Oliver, excuse me, that's Claire Faust with the rebound and the putback for our first score of the evening. And keeping with their tradition, you'll see the Wild Kittens, you know, push the ball up the court as quickly as they can. <clears throat> but they play great half-court offense as well. Mid-range jump shot, no good as Ann Oliver grabs the rebound. Rachel Clark stops at half-court, crosses the timeline, sets things up for Bath at a four-high look. Here's Faith Clark, the sophomore off the screen. Swung around for Rachel, nice pass inside. And that's Ann Oliver with the basket. Back screen on the back side. This bath goes up 4-0. Now the Wild Kittens coached, of course, by Greg Mock, who's been with them for a long time. And, you know, you can see it in the discipline of this bath team. They, they Like I said, they play great half-court offense. They've worked the ball on the inside to their big girls effectively, and they're up 4 to nothing. Shot no good. The Tigers will inbound from the baseline. Cassie Leach again will throw it in. Sends it to the three-point line. Jenna Dirksen for three. That one might have gotten tipped. It falls short nonetheless. But Cassie Leach pulls in the rebound. Now inside they go. Taylor Wagner, the 6'1 sophomore, can't finish. 4-0 Bath on top. A minute and a half, two and a half minutes, excuse me, into this one. And the general out there, Rachel Clark, just standing out there by the half-court line, just looking around and running their offense that way. Great ball movement from the Wild Kittens, but ultimately a shot no good. Faith Clark comes in and takes it away, though. Coach Tracy White for Versailles, one of the over and back, doesn't get the call. 
deep three taken. Oh. Rachel Clark knocks it in. Rachel Clark, a tremendous basketball player. You called her a floor general. That's absolutely right, but she can score in bunches as well. Yeah, that one there, that was a deep three. Now at the other end, Jenna Dirksen sends it up top to Grace Osborne. Now remember, this Bath team generally at the top of the WBL standings as they take this one away. Rachel Clark gets to the basket, puts it up with the left, and it rolls in. 9 nothing lead as Coach White takes a timeout. Bath generally at the top of the WBL standings or somewhere in that range. Last year, two losses in the WBL. There were two very good teams above oh, yeah. them in the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans who lost to Shawnee, who won the WBL. And uh, I'll tell you what, I might be wrong about that, but either way, those two teams were fantastic last year. And this Bath team kind of struggled through some injuries, but still ended up with a great season. And this year, relatively healthy. They are missing Lexi Renner, who has just battled and battled through injuries throughout her career. Our thoughts and prayers go out to her for some of those struggles. But either way, it's exciting to see this Bath team, like I said, relatively healthy because at full strength, this is a really good basketball oh, it, team. It certainly is. And like, uh, like I said, you got Rachel Clark out there, you know, who can score, like you said, Evan, in bunches and run the, the offense very effectively. And then you've got the three six-footers out there as well. So it's going to be a tough team for anybody that has to match up against this Wild Kitten team. Shawnee without their best player from last year, Zoe Best, who uh, moved out of the area, didn't play soccer, started her so or junior year over in St. Louis. Ottawa Glandorf, obviously a powerhouse in the WBL. They lost a couple great players from last year, but always seem to have some new freshmen coming in and bolstering their depth. Three-pointer from the corner. That one's good. Oh my goodness. Elena Oliver knocks it in. Make it 12-0. Bath on top early here and a travel from Versailles. Turnover number five for Versailles. And when you've got your six-footers out there popping in three-pointers, you know you're going to be in trouble if you're the other team. Yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting year for Bath because, you know, like I said, they had two losses last year in the WBL, you know, and they've always been up at the top of the WBL. So this is going to be one of those years where they're going to really try to take it, you know, their revenge or whatever you want to call it, you know, try to get back on the top of this league. And a foul on the shot, the first of the game. That one called against Bath's Kirsten Sheridan. Sheridan, a, a junior on this team. Free throw up and good. Taylor Wagner with the first bucket of the game for Versailles. With a 317 mark in this first quarter. Wagner puts that one up. It's no good. And rebound pulled in by Bath. That was Ann Oliver. Now Rachel Clark gets things set up. 3-2 zone from the Tigers. Half patient with it on the perimeter. And the other thing for sales too is they're a very young team. You know, they only have one senior on their roster, on their varsity roster. And foul by Versailles. That'll be Jenna Dirksen with her first foul. Rachel Clark will send it in from the baseline. 12-1 Bath advantage here. Time running down really quickly here in the first quarter. Player Faust with the basket. She has four points. Make it 14-1. to one. Nice pass ahead. Bucket off the glass. No good. 6 unofficial rebounds now for the Wild Kittens to uh, 5 for Versailles. Versailles just not able to finish on their end of the, of the offensive board. This is Kelsey Carlson in the corner, sends it up top to Claire Faust. Faust picks up her dribble, now gives it up to Rachel Clark. 
Just over two minutes on the clock, and Bath just going to hang out. Now they move it to the left side. I think Clark might have thought about sending a pass inside. Instead, sends it to the right wing, Kelsey Carlson. Now they go inside, but it's knocked away. Bath still in possession, and they can do this. They can string together some really long possessions. Well, they can, and, and you know, good defense underneath though by Versailles. They're, you know, shutting down the paint a little bit on the Wild Kittens, but that's going to leave somebody open out there. Deep three-pointer, no good from Carlson. Nice little hesitation, but the shot, no good. That was Grace Osborne. Now Clark. Oh. Clark traveled, but it was a good move. <laughs> Well, it wasn't a good move because it was illegal, yeah. but it was almost a good move by Clark. It, it was a nice looking move, let's there put it that go. way. Yep. Yeah. That's the first turnover for Bath so far in the first quarter. 14 to one lead, 115 to go first quarter. Bath will pressure full court man to man and they'll take it away. Elena Oliver with the steal, three pointer on the way. Carlson, no good. Coming in for the rebound was Katie Litton. Litton going to go coast to coast, sends it inside. That's a good-looking pass and a foul on the shot. Yeah, that was a really nice pass to get it past the defender into the inside, get it into Taylor and she, Taylor Wagner, and she was able to take it to the basket, draw that foul. This will be her second trip to the foul line. She's one for two so far, make it two for three. So far, the only points now for the Tigers. Something wrong with the clock here as it reads. It was 5.9, now it's 59. I think it ran a little bit extra, so they're trying to get it worked out. And 103. Wagner's second coming up. That one rolls in. She's three for four from the line, and she has all three points as Bath sends Rachel Clark into the game. Checking in for Kirsten Sheridan. I called her Kelsey Carlson a few times. I apologize. That's Sheridan. You've got to like this control that the Wildcat and Kittens have when they bring the ball down with Rachel Clark because they just kind of just set it up nonchalantly and then, you know, run their offense. And the curse of the announcer as they throw that one away. Magato with the steal. Now Versailles back to work, give it to the high post. Here's Allison Schwartz. She sends it inside and a foul be called against Elena Oliver. It's Oliver's first. Pardon me, that's her second. And that sends Wagner back to the line. As we just said, three for four tonight. All three of the Versailles points coming from Wagner at the line. Make it four for five. She's really had to work hard under there with those six footers for Bath under there. And she's just scrapping for everything she can get. It's getting her some uh, opportunity at the foul line. Wagner gets that one to go as well. Five for six for her. All five points here in the first quarter. 25 seconds on the clock. Here's Rachel Clark now. Sends it to the corner. Oh, nice, nice pass. Cut, nice pass, but the shot no good from Claire Faust. 11 seconds now. Here's Leach. Leach over to Schwartz. Schwartz sends it inside, knocked away by Bath. Three seconds on the clock, maybe a chance for a half court heave. And that one might have been blocked. And that does it for the first quarter. 14 to five, Bath on top of the Tigers in our nightcap here in the Bath Tip-Off Classic. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
14 to five the score here in the second game of tonight's opening round of the bath tip off classic Evan Skilleter and Darn Nevergall with you tonight it's bath on top of the Versailles Lady Tigers great first quarter for bath as they moved the ball well got some good shots and really played good defense the only points for Versailles coming from the free throw line Doc. yeah so far it's 14 for bath and five points for Taylor Wagner that's right Five for six from the line for Wagner. Bath goes inside with Faust. Faust sends it outside. She's got to get out of the paint. She's been posted up in there for about six seconds or so. Bath to the basket, no good. Faust grabs the rebound, turns. Fires can't hit the follow-up. Yeah, so far for sales, 0 for 10 from the field. 0 for 1 from three-point range and 0 for 9 from two-point range. Work for those six trips to the foul line or six shots at the foul line for uh, Taylor Wagner, they'd be shut out of this game right now. Nice job there getting the ball inside. Great defense from Bath inside as they block Jenna Dirksen's shot. Now Clark comes down the court. Faith Clark with the fake. Now a three from the top of the key. That one goes from Ann Oliver, and it's nice when your six-footers can step out yeah. and hit from the perimeter. Oliver with five points. That's twice they've done that. Versailles breaks the pressure. Cassie Leach sends it up top. Now high post. Dirksen with the mid-range jump shot. That's the first field goal for Versailles tonight. They're down 10. Yeah, they've worked hard to try to get that that basket there. Here's Faith Clark, and that one tipped away. Nice job by Grace Osborne as Osborne gets to the bucket and finishes. Two quick baskets now for the for Sales Tigers. Got the lead down to eight now. That's turnover number three for the Bath Wild Kittens. Rachel Clark skip pass over to Kelsey Carlson and now a foul before the shot. That'll be the second against Versailles. See who they call it on. Twenty-three. That's Katie Litton. He did that so quick to the scores table. Well, they know. weren't even sure. Right. <laughs> now Ann Oliver dribbling up top. Oliver to the right, goes up. Nothing there. And I like that no call from the yep. referee right there. When Absolutely. a player's not under control like that, you don't want to bail them out. We saw a couple ticky-tack fouls in the first game, and so far referees, for the most part, letting the players play tonight. And it is opening night, you know, sometimes it's good to get some contact out of the way and really start to get your feet under you. Absolutely, I agree. 17 to nine, Bath on top. Clark takes it away. Clark, no one between her and the basket as she goes up and she finishes. Seven points now for Rachel Clark. Sales breaks the pressure. Nice job getting it up the court, but that shot no good. Rachel Clark coming the oh. other way, passes it between two players, and the pass so good that Claire Faust not quite I, ready for it. I was going to say, I think that caught Claire Faust by surprise, because that did go right between two, two for sales players. You know, Kirsten Sheridan checks in for Kelsey Carlson. Wild Kittens with a 10-point lead. It's just under five minutes now left to go here in the first half. And Oliver gets the steal. Faith Clark, three-pointer on the way. That's too long. And a fight for the rebound. It eventually falls to Jenna Dirksen. Well, for sales, it has, unofficially, I've got them down for 10 rebounds here in this first half. So at least they're getting the rebounds. 10-point deficit for the Tigers, and Jenna Dirksen fouled on the jump shot. Shot goes in and a chance for a three-point play. That's her second basket here in the first half. Opportunity to cut Bath lead down to seven. 
Cassie Leach checks in. Allison Schwartz makes way for her. Free throw up, and that's no good. Faust with the rebound. 19 to 11 now. Bath on top, but Versailles starting to get going. Yeah, they're able to finish off a couple plays now. And like I said, they have unofficially, I've got them for 10 rebounds, so they're kind of limiting Bath to one shot and out, too. Three-point field goal good. Rachel Clark knocks that one in. She has 10 first-half points. There's the pass ahead, and a timeout taken by Tracy White, the head coach for Versailles, as we step aside as well. Bath on top, 22-11, to 3.58 to go second quarter. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Bath High School, 22 to 11. The Wild Kittens on top of the traveling Versailles Lady Tigers. And Bath taking it away. They're commanding this game mostly on the defensive end. They go inside, nice pass over to Faust, but Faust loses the handle. It's actually knocked away by Versailles. It stays with Bath underneath. Yeah, we've got 10, 10 turnovers for Versailles so far here in the first half, and just four for Bath. So Bath's definitely winning the turnover battle here. Shot no good. Versailles grabs the rebound. Both teams pretty even up on rebounding. 11 for Versailles. Unofficially to 10 for the Wild Kittens. Versailles goes inside. They lost the ball but got it back. Now moving it around the perimeter. Here's Grace Osborne. Osborne's pass taken away. Those are dangerous and now Take foul at half court. You used to see that in the NBA a lot last yeah. year. They finally changed the rule to where you couldn't take those transition take fouls. But in high school, it's not against the rules. Nope, it's not. And, and I'm not entirely sure it was intentional, but it's a good foul nonetheless because you prevent the easy bucket at the other end. I'll tell you what, Evan, you, like you said, those are dangerous passes when you're trying to throw it over the top against the, these six footers that Bath's got out there and they easily are gonna pick those out of the air. So you're gonna have to figure out another some, different strategy than throwing it clear across the court that way. Wild Kittens go inside and Oliver not able to finish. Faust got the rebound, missed the follow up and it's last touched by Bath. Two, two, one, full court press. Faith Clark guarding the ball, gets a hand on it. Versailles keeps it, Lexi Magoto skips it across the court to Cassie Leach. Dirksen thought about a three-pointer, pull it, pulls it down, excuse me, as Versailles moves it around the perimeter. That shot no good, a little wild by Dirksen. She got the rebound, didn't finish that one, and then the follow-up, no good, Taylor Wagner Drawing the foul, she'll go back to the line. Five for six so far tonight for Wagner. Well, three opportunities for Versailles, you know, to hit it underneath the basket. But just to get three opportunities under the basket was something in itself. Wagner now with six points, six for seven from the free throw line. Make it seven for eight. Good performance there from the charity stripe. Yeah, for a 6-1 sophomore. Clark passes over to Kirsten Sheridan. There's a skip pass from Bath that gets over to Rachel Clark. She finds Faith. Now they go inside. Faust fouled and finishes. Well, that was big for Bath because they've been struggling underneath really to, to find the bottom of the bucket because they've had the opportunities on the inside and it's just rolled off several times for them. You know, and that opportunity to, to finish it off was, was huge for them. That builds that lead back up to 11 points. And the foul was against Katie Litton. It's her third. 
just in the first half, two of one to play in the second quarter. Faust with six points, going for seven right here on the free throw. Shot up and no good. Offensive rebound though, that's tracked down by Kirsten Sheridan. Ultimately turned over, Versailles goes the other way, but it's knocked away. It's Rachel Clark getting a hand on it. Now Clark trying to go coast to coast, runs into the whole defense, and one of those where you dribble into trouble yeah. and you're not <laughs> quite sure what to do. Yeah, kind of got a little, got away from Rachel Clark on that one there. There are times when you want to just pull it back and not try to take on the entire team. Still, the Tigers not able to finish two attempts at the rim. Relatively uncontested as well, but they come up empty. 24 to 13, Bath on top, 118 on the clock and counting here in the second quarter. I'll tell you what, Evan, I'm impressed with Ta Taylor Wagner under there. Just a sophomore, and she is really battling hard against, you know, a couple big trees underneath there. Tough team to play against as well on opening night on their gym, or in their gym, excuse me. Faith Clark thought about a three, pulls it down. A good recovery out there by for sales though. Faith passes it up to Ann Oliver. Ball swung around, corner three pointer, that goes. Kirsten Sheridan missed her first two, but hits her third. Her first bucket of the night extends the lead to 27 to 13. I'll tell you what, she's a left-hander on that side over there. That's going to be tough to block. And the Tigers dribble out of bounds. Give it right back to Bath with 25 on the clock. 14-point lead for the Wildcats. They'll try to make it more here on the last shot of the half. Sheridan comes out. Bath content to sit back there and take that last shot, too. And Oliver dribbles out, seven on the clock. Sheridan, Clark, three. It's good. Oh, good one. Goodness. Rachel Clark right before the buzzer. She has 13 first half points to match the entire total of the Versailles team as the Wildcats head to the locker room of 30 to 13 here on WOSN, second half coming up after this. Welcome back for the start of the second half here at our nightcap in Bath, where the Wild Kittens lead 30 to 13 over the Lady Tigers of Versailles in the second of two tonight in the Bath tip-off classic and I believe it is sponsored by QP by the way and we were thankful to grab some QP hamburgers at halftime. Evan Skilleter and Darn Evergall with you tonight. Jacob and Kelsey on the cameras. Dar, great first half for the Wildcats or Wild Kittens rather who uh, they're doing it offensively and defensively in this one. Well they certainly have and you know it's tough for sales. They're, they're hitting just 14 percent from the field and 0 for 1 from three-point range. They had 14 rebounds in the first half, 13 turnovers, though, for the for the Lady Tigers in that first half. And then you look at Bath Wildcats, they were shooting 46% from the field, 6 for 9 from three-point range with 78%. You know, 13 rebounds, and they've only turned the ball over six times. So, you know, it's been all, you know, Bath so far in this first half of this game, and led by Rachel Clark with 13 points in the first half. It's Rachel and Faith Clark on the perimeter for Bath. Rachel wears number 20, Faith number two. Three-pointer on the way. That one's no good. Shot taken by 33. That was Elena Oliver. Now back inside go the Tigers. They've tried to get inside and get Taylor Wagner going. She's drawn a lot of fouls. She's seven for eight from the free throw line tonight, but that's all seven of her points. Yeah, seven points for her. Four points for Jenna Dirksen in that first half for uh, for sales. Two points for Grace Osborne. So not a lot of scoring around the around. Like I said, they only shot 14% from the field in that first half. Nice pass ahead. Clark 
finds Oliver, and Elena Oliver will go to the free throw line. The first fast foul, excuse me. That one rolls around and round and round, hits every part of the rim and drops through. That's point number four now for Elena Oliver. That one goes as well. 32-13 now, Bath on top. Yeah, Purcell's just has not been able to finish off on the inside, and there's another example of it right there. You know, they've held their own on the board, as I said. In that first half, they've just not been able to get the baskets on the inside, and they only had one opportunity from three-point range in this game, you know, so far. Bath, on the other hand, has had their opportunities underneath. They, you know, they played a very good first half, except for the fact that they haven't been able to finish off a lot of their shots on the inside. You know, the big girls are getting the opportunities. They just weren't able to put them down. You know, and that's something they're going to have to work on a little bit more here in the second half. Try to close close off and finish on the inside. Another bath steal. They lead 32 to 13, 540 to play in the third quarter. For sales in a 3-2 zone, and Bath really in no hurry to try to break this down. So they'll try a three from the corner. No good. Rebound brought in by Schwartz. And that's the thing. If you want to play a zone on Bath, you're going to have to worry about those those outs, those three point shots on the outside. Even their big girls like to take. And look at Clark <laughs> go right through two defenders on her way to the bucket. 15 for Rachel Clark. She's outscored the entire Versailles roster. And that was just a smooth move all the way through. Bath with another steal as Faith Clark puts it on the deck to avoid a travel. Here's a three from the corner. That's no good. Cassie Leach with the rebound. Pardon me, that's Grace Osborne. Sales will take a timeout here. 4.49 on the clock in the third quarter. 34-13, Bath leads. Four thirteen, Bath on top here in the second of two games in this Bath Wildcats tip-off tournament sponsored by QP. Wildcats on top in this one. Three-pointer on the way from or Ann Oliver, excuse me. It's no good. Faith Clark tries to track down the rebound, can't get there in time, and the ball goes to the Tigers as the Bath Wildcat kittens, excuse me, substitute Kirsten Sheridan and. Kelsey Carlson into the game. Well, as long as Purcell is going to sit back here in that zone, you know, it's going to give the opportunity for the Wildcats to shoot from those three-point shots. But, you know, they're going to have to knock down some of them if they want to draw Purcells out of that zone, and they haven't been able to yet. It also allows Bath to go slowly through their offense oh, because yeah. it's not like Versailles is pressuring up top. So they've been very content just to work the ball around the perimeter. Take some time off this clock as we're about four minutes into this third quarter. Sales goes back inside. Shot no good from Taylor Wagner. Follow up no good. Rebound falls to Rachel Clark. Here's Elena Oliver. Gives it back to Rachel Clark. Rachel Clark has been a familiar face on the Soccer pitch and the basketball court. Four years she's been here at Bath. As that three-pointer goes from Elena Oliver, the six-foot senior. That's her second three-pointer of the night. There oh. you go. You're going to say Rachel Clark's being Rachel Clark. That's, That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oliver with eight points, 37-13 now. Three-pointer on the way from the wing. That's no good. Elena Oliver grabs the rebound. Versailles struggling here to get things going in the second half. Still have not scored here in the second half. 
That was only their second three-point shot of the night. Elena Oliver goes to the basket, misses the shot. Fight for the rebound. Faust comes up with it briefly, and then she's fouled. That'll be the second foul against Versailles here in the half. Versailles sends Katie Litton in. She has three fouls. The foul moments ago called against Grace Osborne, her first. Well, Allison Swartz in there now for Versailles to try to counter the height advantage that Bath was having. Bath inside, turns, shoots, good. Elena Oliver maybe got away with shuffling a foot, but either way, basket's good. Ten points now for Oliver. Skip pass over to Jenna Dirksen. They go inside. Nice move oh. and a scoop and score right there from Taylor Wagner. Her first basket from the field. She has nine points. Seven of those coming from the free throw line. That's a good looking move. That was certainly a good move, good looking move on her part. Faith Clark inside, outside to Elena Oliver. It's one of those, if you can't go over him, go under him. Oliver, this time great footwork as she puts it up and in. No calls for a travel there from the Lady Tigers sideline. Oliver now with 12 points and awkward play there as the pass behind Jenna Dirksen. She falls trying to grab it. Now Ann Oliver checks in, as does Faith Clark. That's unofficially 16 turnovers now for sales in this game. Cassie Leach checks in for the Tigers, replacing Jenna Dirksen. And I'll tell you, Versailles has played hard all night long. They just haven't been able to get, you know, crack this bad defense or finish any of their shots off. Bath had Kelsey Carlson under the basket, but they weren't able to find her. Instead, it's Ann Oliver. Oliver goes up and she's fouled. I believe it was on the shot, yes it was. So Oliver heads to the free throw line as the foul is called on Taylor Wagner. That's her first. And Oliver with five points in, in the first half. Her first trip to the foul line tonight. First free throw, no good. Coach Tracy White for Versailles, rotating a lot of players in. Free throw no good, but an offensive rebound and an attempt to keep it in by Kelsey Carlson, but the ball goes out for Sales basketball. Forty-one fifteen, Bath on top. One sixteen to go, third quarter. Tough opening night for Versailles going up against the Bath Wild Kittens. Now possession tied up. Arrow points toward Versailles, so they'll throw it in from the baseline. And we talked about this earlier, Evan. You were talking about the, the long history of these two teams and number of wins and stuff. You know, Versailles a little down last year. And, you know, but to come into this game, you know, this is two-story programs and, you know, great opening night for them. But Versailles just having a tough time against this Bath defense. Allison Schwartz with the basket for Versailles moments ago. That one tipped away and will stay with Versailles. 42 seconds on the clock, third quarter. And that was Allison Schwartz's first two points of the night. Rachel Clark checks in. She'll replace Elena Oliver. Now inside they go, and a foul. Taylor Wagner back to the free throw line. Seven of eight tonight from the line for Wagner. Foul was called against Kirsten Sheridan. That's her second. 
Here's the sophomore, Taylor Wagner, six foot one. Nice job from the free throw line tonight. Just a nice stroke from the free throw line too. I mean, good concentration, good follow through. Second one up. That one doesn't go. So eight for ten, and I'll take eighty percent. I the will. Coach, right. Absolutely. Especially from one of your player underneath that's going to draw those kind of fouls. 25 on the clock. Clark cuts to the basket, gets the pass, now sends it outside. Three-pointer on the way. It's good. Kirsten Sheridan knocks it in. She's got two of those tonight. All six of her points coming from outside, and now Bath with the steal. Ten seconds on the clock. They get it ahead. Here's Clark. Clark passes over to Sheridan. Shot no good. Two on the clock. And that will do it for the third quarter. Commanding lead for the Bath Wildcats. They lead 44-18 as we step aside. Fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. One quarter to play here at Bath. The Wild Kittens on top, 44 to 18 over the traveling for Sales Lady Tigers in the opening night of high school basketball here in Bath. This is the second of our double header in the Bath QP tip off tournament. That was a 14 to five advantage for Bath there in that third quarter. Wildcats start with the basketball. They go inside. Shot up and a foul early as Kelsey Carlson will head to the free throw line. Kelsey, just a five foot eight freshman, getting an opportunity tonight. It's the third foul against Jenna Dirksen, fourth against Versailles of the half. No points, as Dar said, for Sheridan, or Carlson, excuse me, as she misses that one. Second one up, that one goes. First point of the night for her, 45 to 18, Bath on top. For sales back to work on offense. Barga finds Jenna Dirksen. Now they go inside and yet another foul drawn by Taylor Wagner. She'll go back to the line. 10 free throws so far tonight. She's made eight of them, 10 total points. She's one tired girl out there too, you can tell. Give her all the credit in the world. She's had a hard night tonight trying to battle against these Bath Wild Kittens. That free throw goes. Nine of 11 now. I'll tell you what, if you're the coach for, for sales, though, you got to be happy with what you're seeing from her. You know, it's been a tough night all the way around for her, for sales Tigers. But, you know, this young lady here, only a sophomore, if she can get to the foul line all season long like she is tonight and hit those foul shots like that, you know, she's going to have a very successful season. She makes that one as well, 10 of 12. 12 points for her. 45-20 now, 30 seconds into this fourth quarter. Izzy McDermott, a freshman for Bath, checking in moments ago. Her first action of the night. Oliver has it knocked away. Here's Jenna Dirksen. Dirksen to the basket, off the glass and in. Dirksen's first basket of the second half, six points all together tonight. Versailles upping the pressure a bit here to start the fourth quarter. Here's McDermott. Now Kirsten Sheridan up top. Sheridan dribbles to her left. Gives it up to Carlson. There's Faith Clark. Clark past the defender. Good ball movement from Bath, but even better patience. Now Elena Oliver takes the three. It's no good, but an offensive rebound to Faith Clark. That's the 17 three-point attempt to, for Bath tonight. Oliver tries to go baseline and an offensive foul call. Third foul against Oliver. Third against the Wildcats. A 
Piper. Sales gets things set up. Katie Litton. Now Grace Osborne back over to Litton on the left side. She dribbles to the top. Osborne yeah. finds Wagner. Down to six minutes left here in the game. Sales would like to have a strong finish if they can have it. Wagner not able to draw a foul on that one. Bath comes the other way. Faith Clark. You know, what's interesting is you know, if you were to ask me, I'd say Faith Clark's played a tremendous game, moving the ball around, playing great defense. She has no points. No, she tonight. does not. But that's, you know, that's fine for Bath, right? As you see the three-pointer go there by Kelsey Carlson. Carlson's first field goal. She has four points. She's made one free throw in this game as well. When you have a player like that that's happy to move the ball, that's happy to fill any role you ask her to fill, that's invaluable for a coach. Oh, it certainly is. I mean, there, there's plenty of scores on this Bath team, and she knows she doesn't have to be the one. You know, but the thing is, is can you run the offense? Can you can you play good defense? Can you, you know, particularly if the team goes into, you know, some kind of press or something, can you break that press? All those things filter into, you know, what a successful team would be. And she keeps the ball moving. Yes, right? she does. It, it doesn't stick with her. You know, she makes sure the offense continues to run through her, not for her. As the free throw goes by Jenna Dirksen, the foul, by the way, was against Elena Oliver. It's her fourth as she heads to the bench. Allison Harnischfeger in for the first time. Another freshman for this Bath team. The third freshman wild kitten to play tonight. That free throw is up. It's no good. And for sales, the last to touch it. On that end, like I said, I mean, that, that's important for a team, and particularly, and you can see why Bath has always been successful. You know, year in and year out, Coach Monk and his, his coaching staff do an outstanding job of getting the best out of their players, you know, and what they can do. You know, they, you know whatever their strength is, he's going to bring it out on them, and so is his coaching staff. So, you know, that's why, you know, everybody has their role. Everybody plays their role, you know. And, and you've got plenty of scores on this Bath team. So that any night, one of those players may step up and sure. be the leading scorer that night. Fifth team foul called against Versailles. It was the fourth against Jenna Dirksen. Now Faith Clark up top. Seeing the future of the Bath Wild Kittens out there right now with Clark as a sophomore. Three freshmen on the floor. Junior Kirsten Sheridan has it taken away. Gracie Osborne coming the other way. Versailles able to keep possession. Now a pass inside. That's Katie Litton who finishes through contact. Um, that's Katie Litton's first basket of the night. And that's hard to believe too because she's worked so hard all night long. Cassie Leach checks in. Faith Clark attacked with her second foul. Fifth against Bath of the half. Two points here tonight for Katie Litton. Make it three. 48-26 the score, 4.15 to go. Opening night of high school hoops on WOSN. Happy to be with you, Darn Evergall and Evan Skilleter. Jacob O'Neill on one camera, Kelsey on the other one. This pass in and out of the hands of Grace Osborne. Looking like a Cleveland Browns receiver out there. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm a Browns fan, so. Yeah, so am I. It just is what it is at this yeah, point. Yeah, it is. Jacob O'Neill smirking at me. He's a Packers fan. Oh, well. I'm sure that's much better at this point. <laughs> really? Three minutes, 34 seconds. 48-26, Bath on top as Versailles takes it away. Osborne, nice pass ahead. And way to run the floor right there. Free, or the shot no good by Schwartz, but the follow-up is... 
Schwartz with the basket. Schwartz just a junior, and that's her fourth point of the night. Timeout taken by Bath with 3.05 on the clock. 48-28, Bath on top here on WOSN. Welcome back to Bath High School. 3.05 to go here in the second of two games. An opening night of high school basketball in Lima Land. Evan Skilleter and Darn Nevergall with you. Jacob O'Neill on one camera. Kelsey Brimmer on the other camera. 48-28, the host Bath Wildcats on top here. Final three minutes of action. A lot of a lot of players getting an opportunity to play for both teams, and you know, Greg Mock is certainly put in his freshman and his sophomores out there and letting them run, get some playing time, which is going to be very important as the season goes on. Sales knocks that one away, but it's last touched by Bath, so the Lady Tigers get a possession back. And unofficially, that's 13 turnovers for Bath. But on the flip side, 18 turnovers for, for sales tonight. For sales on the wing with Grace Osborne. Osborne goes inside. Long two-pointer on the way. That drops. Cassie Leach. Brings her sales to within 18. And you mentioned it just a little bit ago. Versailles still working hard in this game and really a, a respectable performance here in the second half despite trailing by quite a bit. Yeah, they picked up quite a few turnovers. There's another one right there. They've also shot a lot better here, particularly in this uh, you know latter part of the third quarter into this fourth quarter. And that was Cassie Leach's first basket as well. Clark brings it up slowly now for the Wildcats. 140 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. About a line change. Ready to check in for Versailles. Four players at the bench. And another steal. Well done there by Schwartz as she gets to the basket. Finishes 48-32. And a timeout taken by Versailles. Want to get those substitutes into this game. Winner for our first game was Brian. They'll play Bath in the next game. Marion Local, the loser of that first game, they'll take on Versailles. Now, I recognize the game's not over, but with 123 left, again, very respectable effort here late from Versailles. Oh, it certainly was. I mean, it was, you know, we're looking at a 44 to 18 score at the end of the third quarter and now it's 48-32. You mentioned it at the top of the broadcast and Dar brought it up moments ago, but these two teams, fourth and fifth in the state all time in program wins. Bath with 909 all time wins as a program in fourth in the state and for sales in fifth with 881. The team at the top, Tip Canoe, has 926. Fort Loramie, one win behind them. And Berlin Highland, just three wins behind Fort Loramie. So wow. Pretty close at the top. I feel like that's a, a list that can change at almost any moment, season to season. And for sales again, great job pressing. And a 10 second call, Heidi Stammen. Good. On ball defense. A good job by the Lady Tigers here. You know, they're really playing, you know, hard. Even their subs are coming in and playing. There's gonna be some stuff that Greg Mock and his team's gonna work on, I'm sure, for the second or his second team as well. Three-pointer goes. Jenna Dirksen from the corner. 
48-35, and then a steal. Stallman takes it back, goes up. She's fouled. I think Greg Mock, the head coach for the Bath Wild Kittens, will be happy with a win on opening night, yeah. obviously, but I think he'll have quite a bit to say about the effort I down think the he stretch will too. here. When you get up by a certain amount and you put some of those younger players or some of those bench players in the game, you hope that at least they'll keep a lead at a respectable margin, but all of a sudden it's 13 points. And again, just 50 seconds on the clock, so probably too little too late for Versailles. But you've got to be happy if you're Coach Tracy White with your team and their effort tonight. Well, this is an 18-4 fourth quarter for the Versailles Tigers. Bath breaks the pressure, run into trouble, jump ball. It'll go back to Versailles. 38 on the clock. So yeah, this lead down to 12. But this oh, lead down to out. nine. <laughs> wow. My goodness. 26 on the clock, and Versailles takes it away to the basket. It's good. 48-41. It's a seven-point game with 18 seconds left, and the Bath starters get up. And they are back at the scorer's table. And we might see another 10 seconds here. No, nope, Bath able to break. Eight seconds on the clock. They're going to take a shot here. That's no good. Follow-up attempt is good. And so a fantastic effort yeah, here in the was. fourth quarter by the Versailles Tigers, who ultimately lose this game. But if moral victories are a real thing, I think this fourth quarter was one. I think so, too. And I think uh, the Tracy White, the coach for Versailles, is going to have a lot of players out there they're going to be looking at and saying, hmm. Because you know, they didn't take that many three-point shots until the, the you know, the second stringers came in there and they started firing them up. You know, so, yeah, just a lot of things went well there in that fourth quarter for uh, Versailles. But, you know, Bath kind of coasting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They were up 44-18 after three, so I... You, know, you can do that when you pull out your, you know, your first te first team. But, you know, I think Greg Mock will have a lot of things to say to him, though. So again, your final score here in the nightcap: Bath 50, Versailles 41. Thank you to the Bath Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Thanks to Cupy for the hamburgers at halftime. That was phenomenal. Thank you to Jacob O'Neill on the top cam, Kelsey Brimmer on the cam below. Nick and Megan doing the editing of this game for you. And as always, thank you to you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOSN. Again, your final, Bath 50, Versailles 41. For Darn Evergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.